Low battery, you're taking the piss surely. Impossible. This camera battery fucking sucks dick. Are we straight? Are we straight? Hey bitches, how you doing? You good? Okay. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma and make sure to hit that subscribe button, bitch. So today uh, I'm starting a new segment on my channel that I've pretty much been really excited about doing ever since I started doing my YouTube channel and that is a little girl talk video. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know I do a lot about body positivity, self-love, like female empowerment. So I just wanna bring that to my YouTube channel as well. So I put um, I put a post out there on my Instagram story and my Snapchat and said, I'm doing a video on girl talk. If you have any questions regarding, like, actually let me find my little poster I put up, okay. Any questions regarding self-love, body image, confidence, mindset, uni, boys, sex, anything. Um, and so I got some questions and we're gonna talk about them together. So. If you ask me a question, hopefully it's gonna get answered. And even if you didn't, if you just wanna watch this and see what I gotta say about some certain topics, here we go. So I wanna be doing a few more of these. So yeah, let's just get started with the first question. So my first question was, I like to cover the subject of not hating what you see when you look in the mirror as far as body image goes. Okay. This is something that I struggle with a lot. It's really hard when you look in the mirror and you feel like, ugh, like I'm butters, I'm disgusting, like a lot of negative things run through your head for some girls. And how I overcame that was almost just lying to myself. If I looked in the mirror and be like, you look nice today, or if I was wearing this kind of outfit, I'd be like, that's a nice outfit, or your makeup looks nice, or this, that, and the other. Not, it's really important to not look in the mirror and be like, you're disgusting, because your mind is the most powerful thing ever. Like, I feel, I feel like people don't understand how powerful the human mind is and what you can convince yourself and what you can make yourself believe. So if you're constantly telling yourself that every day, you are gonna think you're disgusting. My main advice would be just fake it till you make it. If you just say to yourself, you know what, you look good. And don't be ashamed about it. People will like try and drag you down for believing in yourself and being like, I'm beautiful and I'm worthy. I feel like people, try and mock that and I really don't understand why like loving yourself is such a like oh she's big headed she's this she's that you have to love yourself like no one else is going to do it for you you have to believe in yourself and that person that drives you forward because at the end of the day that's all you have all you have is yourself not to be like morbid or anything because I know you got family and shit like that but you know what I mean it's definitely a journey and it definitely takes a long time and for a long time I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. And I feel like once I started making little changes, telling myself that I'm beautiful and little things where I'm not like, I hate how I look, it really helped. And I think just accepting yourself, that's a really big changing point for where you can move forward is being like, this is me and I'm, I'm not trying to change that. I'm not trying to be anyone else. Like, just be unapologetically yourself. And I really feel like that helps with how you view your body and how you view yourself. Because once you've accepted that, where else is, is there to go? Like you can just, you're just going up and up and up. So yeah, my next question was, how do you regain slash find your confidence again after a period when you feel like you've lost yourself? We all go through stages where you don't feel like yourself or you're in a situation that is not enabling you to be your true self. Like you're being held back or you've just got a lot of stress in your life, things with work, things with uni, you know, a lot of things are on your mind. I've been like that before where I feel like I've just not been myself, especially when I was at university. When I was towards the end of my first semester and the end of my second semester in my final year, I was just constantly working at the library. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was having like no sleep. I was just a bit of a mess. The little things, when you're in a situation like that, the little things really make you feel not yourself. For instance, I was wearing trackies like all day, every day, wearing no makeup, like not 
socialise with my friends really, only my friends that were on my course and not seeing my family, it was just all a bit, mm. What helped me become myself again was definitely just, I feel like a big thing for me is dressing how I want to dress. So I express myself through my clothing. And when I'm wearing a sick outfit that like, I feel on top of the world, like if I'm wearing shit clothes all day, I'm just like, <sighs> it actually puts me in a bad mood. It's actually that deep. Dressing how I want to dress again, like getting out there, speaking to your friends and like being in social situations. If you are an outgoing person, you flourish with friends, like that would definitely help you feel like yourself again. Surrounding yourself with people that you love and that love you is really important as well. If you were talking about uh, body confidence, I'd say if I was feeling really down, I'd lost my confidence in myself, I would just put it on 10, like I would go and buy some nice lingerie, some nice clothes, some clothes that make me feel good in myself and that make me happy and I'd just, I'd just stunt. Do something that makes you happy and makes you feel full of life whatever that be. I'd say just do things that you really love because that is what's going to make you feel most yourself and give you that confidence back. So yeah. Someone has asked me, how do I stop being a jealous little bitch? <laughs> this is a question that I think a lot of girls struggle with, especially if you're in a, like, a long-term relationship, you're committed to someone and you really like them, you're going to get jealous. It was weird because I was never, in my first like relationship, I was never really a jealous girlfriend, but I was a lot younger then. And as I've got older and I've been messed about more by boys, I became more jealous. But I feel like I'm just waving out of that again now. Like I'm, I'm I mean, it's... a lot of issues towards jealousy stem from issues with oneself. If you aren't 100% comfortable and confident in yourself I feel like you will have jealousy issues a lot of people will get jealous like is my man speaking to another girl is he has he cheated on me has he done this has he done that and I feel like that all stems down to your own insecurities because a lot of the time your man is probably doing nothing I mean if he's shady and you know something's off then you know something's off and it's it's not right and you should confront them about that I'm a big believer in just talk about things like I feel like in relationships people will get mad without communicating with each other. I think communication is the biggest major key in relationships because you're not mind readers. Like how are you supposed to know what each other is thinking? I think it's hard if you're talking to someone 24 hours of the day, they still don't know what is going on in your head. So I think communication, major key. As far as jealousy goes, I think definitely a lot of it stems down to your own insecurities and whether you believe in yourself and believe in your relationship. I don't want it to sound patronising, but I think definitely mm, it's a bit half and half, isn't it? Because some boys move a bit mad. If you if, if you know your boy's moving shady and he's acting like he's not texting you back, he's not doing this, he's not doing that, he's MIA, you, I mean, you know something's up. And that's when the communication comes into play, okay? But other than that, if he's doing everything right and he's giving you no reason to doubt him and you're jealous that he's going to like see his friends that are girls, that you know it's just a platonic friendship, then I'd say you need to sort of look in the mirror and be like, why am I being jealous? Like, it's because of my own insecurities. And just be like, you know what? This boy is with you. Like, he's not with none of these other girls. He is with you because he wants to be with you. And he, well, likes or loves you or however long your relationship has been going on. So you just need to have faith in that relationship and know that he is with you, not anyone else. Okay, question number four. Why do boys think it's okay to have sex with any girl they want and use them at their disposal, but expect a girl to be have a body count of less than five men for her to be wifey material and won't even date her because of her past and are worried what his friends will think. Surely wifey material isn't about how many girls she has slept with, it's how the girl treats her man. And you know I said boy, that's because he isn't a man yet. <laughs> this is a big issue that we still face in the 21st century. Boys being concerned about how many other men their girl has slept with. I think we all know if a boy has slept with 50 girls, He's like, it's like, fucking top shaggy, go on mate, yeah. But if a girl has slept with 50 boys, it's like, you're a hoe, you're disgusting, you don't respect yourself. So, 
I think obviously because how society perceives how men should act and women should act, as in a man can do whatever he wants with women and he's just a, a player and it's cool or whatever, but if a woman does that, she's a slut and a hoe and mm, like a woman should, a woman should respect herself and not sleep with anyone and not enjoy sex, like. It's 2017, like it's nearly 2018. Women enjoy sex and it's not taboo to talk about that anymore. Yeah, glad we've got that out of the way. A lot of my guy friends will turn their nose up at a girl that has been with, let's say more than 10 boys. Cause they'll be like, they'll have sex with her, but they won't be in a relationship with her or they will be in a relationship with her, but let's say they wouldn't marry her. Mm. So it's like they don't have the respect for her because they think she slept with X amount of men. <laughs> this whole topic just actually gets me angry. I feel like for girls, sleep with whoever you want. Sleep with however many people you want, whether that's one, whether that's two, whether that's a hundred. Do what you want, but make sure you're doing it because you want to do it. You like having sex or you want to have sex with that boy. And as long as you don't regret it after you have done it, I feel like there is no issue with girls sleeping with however many boys they feel comfortable with sleeping with. The problem comes when you're sleeping with boys to feel affection or to feel love. And I think that's why a lot of girls, after they've slept with boys, say they have like, say they're talking to a boy for a month, they sleep with them and then the boy sort of goes, then girls are really offended, but that's because they were expecting something from the situation. I feel like I need to talk about this another time, like about knowing what you want from a situation and not having expectations or putting your expectations on the table and be like, this is what I want. If you don't want it, then cool, I'm a go. But if you do, then let's do it. Topic for another time, you know what I mean? So yeah, when it comes to boys not wanting to wife girls with a, a higher body count, I just feel like a lot of it definitely is to do with their friends as well. Boys chat and boys are just, <laughs> boys are gossips, just like girls are gossips. They might even be bigger gossips than girls are. And they make jokes. And I feel like boys can be sensitive to stuff like that sometimes. Like if a guy was like, your girl's fucked 20 man and she's a hoe, that will really hurt the boy's feelings. Cause he'll be like, I don't want to be with a hoe, this, that. I don't it's all about reputation and pride. When a boy has matured, into a man, that is when they don't really care as much what their friends think or what society thinks. Like they'll they'll have their views and they'll put that into play in their life. So even if he's 30 and still thinks, oh, she can't have slept with more than two boys, that's cool. Cause he'll find a woman for him like that. But I think if you've slept with 10 boys and the boy you're speaking to doesn't like that, he's not the man for you because why, why is he going to judge you on what you have done? He doesn't know your situations that you're with with all them boys. He's just seeing 10 dicks in a line and he's thinking, nah, I don't want to be number 11. He's obviously not got to know you or not respecting you because he's he's judging you. He's judging you on how many people you've slept with. And do you want to be with someone that is a judgy boy? What are you going to judge me for? Are you my dad? No, I'm a, good, I'm a big girl and I can take care of myself. I don't need you to pass opinion on how many people I've slept with. I feel like it is a, an immature mindset, but I feel like it is a very British boy mindset. In America, that shit doesn't even matter. Like you can go out and date loads of boys and it's cool. Like over there, there's a whole different mindset to how sleeping with people and dating people works. But over here, in England, sex is still so taboo. Like, why is sex still taboo? Come on, man. So what I will say is he's immature. He needs to grow a set of balls. He needs to stop listening to his friends. You do you, honey, and sleep with however many dicks you want to sleep with, and you do it with pride. You know what I mean? Okay. So number five. How do you believe in your sexiness despite being out of the game for some time? Whether you're with boys or girls or whatever, if you've not been with a partner for some time, you might just turn a bit... Mm. You're not bothered, you're just, ugh, sex, what is that? I'm a virgin. I think it's really important as a, as a woman to, like, you know, make yourself feel good. Like, dress up for yourself, do this and that, and for yourself, not for anyone else. Buy yourself a new set of underwear and just put it on. Look in the mirror and be like, you're fit. Take some pictures in it, just for your personal album, just to look back at it and be like, you're sexy. 
I think confidence is one of the most sexy traits that anyone can have. Not cockiness though, confidence. If you're a confident person, that radiates and people can see that and people are attracted to you because you're so outgoing and friendly and happy and people are attracted to your energy. Even if you're just sitting up at the house, like buy yourself some nice underwear or some nice pajamas or just some cute clothes and be like, you're fit as fuck, you're beautiful and you're sexy. Again, it's sort of like the first question with the body image. It's like, you, you should tell yourself that you're sexy. Like I look in the mirror and I'm like, wow, like your waist is looking snatched and your ass is looking fat and you're sexy. Okay. No one else is gonna tell, well, people might tell you that, but the only one that's gonna tell you that and believe it is yourself. So if you believe in your sexiness and you believe in your confidence and it radiates, it's all gonna be a good time for everyone. I'd say to you, buy yourself a nice set of underwear, no matter where it's from, it could be from Primark, could be from Agent Provocateur, anything. It, it can be cheap, whatever. Whatever your budget is, there's something for you. Take a couple pics of yourself and be like, mm. or buy yourself a new pair of heels. I feel like heels are so sexy. Like, I have so many pairs of heels that I don't even wear out. I wear the same heels to go clubbing all the time and I take sliders in my clutch bag. If you know me, you see me bopping around loft at 6am in my sliders. Oh it's slide time, B. Buy some heels for yourself, girl. <laughs> Ching, take some Instagram pics in them. And oh, six. Yeah, I think it was number six. Sixth question. I'm really anxious to try new positions and always have sex in the dark because I think I'm too fat or heavy to try stuff. But he says he loves me no matter what and always calls me gorgeous and sexy. This as well stems down to self-esteem and body issues. Now, when you're a bigger girl, probably not even just bigger girls, maybe other girls as well. If you, if you have an insecurity on your body, say you're insecure about your boobs, or your thighs or your tummy. That's like the most intimate thing. You're gonna get naked and show another person you naked and expose yourself like that. A lot of time girls are like keep their tops on or keep their knickers on or whatever. When you do that, you show that person that insecurity even more. And what I mean by that is, if I was having sex with a boy and I'm like, oh, don't look at my tummy, he's gonna now look at that. Whereas if I had not said that before, he probably wouldn't have even noticed. Like, a, when, a, when a man has sex with you, it's because he wants to have sex with you. You'd like to think, right? He's having sex with you because he likes you, he likes your body, he thinks you're beautiful. He already knows what he's getting himself in for. Like, I feel like, I feel like girls trick themselves, like, oh, he doesn't, he hasn't seen under all this, like... You with clothes on, is it's basically pretty much gonna look the same without clothes on. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you've got a tummy when you've got your jeans on, you're gonna have a tummy when you take your pants off, okay? And I think girls forget that. So he already knows what he's getting himself in for when he's gonna be intimate with you. So there's no need to hide it, because he might like that. And I feel like for us girls, it's so crazy to think a boy might like our tummy or might like our big thighs or big hips or whatever, but they do. Like, they do. They think all of that sexy song. Um, it's only recently that I've that I just deep that, but um, what I'm trying to say is, if a boy's having sex with you, he's, he wants to have sex with you and he thinks you're beautiful. There is no need to hide yourself because then that is gonna only draw more attention to your insecurities and to them places that he's never even thought looked bad before. And now he might think, oh, like, why is she covering that up? I don't think it, it looks bad. And mm, there's just gonna be a whole lot more thoughts towards that. First of all, just get fully naked. Like, I feel I'm guilty of this as well. Sometimes I'll be like, keeping my top on like, for what? For what? Show it, be proud about it. <laughs> yeah. As far as positions go, I just feel like, okay, if you are a bigger girl, you might be insecure about your weight and feel like, oh, I'm gonna fucking crush him or some dumb shit like that. No. Like, if he wants you to get on top, he's he knows what he's getting himself in for. Listen, he already knows what's gonna happen and he wants it to happen. Okay, just have faith in the boy. Just have faith in the fact that he thinks you're sexy and he wants to do that with you. Because he probably suggested it. Try something new. Like, you don't know until you try it what it's gonna be like. And if, if it's, it sounds like you've been with him for a long time, if you're in a long-term relationship with someone, even better, like, you're so comfortable with each other that you can do them things and it doesn't even matter. I'd just say, like, 
be in the room, turn the big light off because the big light is so fucking intrusive. Put a little lamp on, put some fairy lights on, light a candle, you know, have that dim light. So if you are flicking the dark light, have the dim light going as a, as a bit of a starter to work, to working your way up, you know what I mean? Have the dim light on, just hop on top and be like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do that, okay? This is gonna happen and it's gonna be great. I'd say just try it and the more comfortable you are, the easier it'll be. Like if you're stressed out thinking, oh God, like, and you're getting anxious about it, it's only gonna reflect during the sex. Like you're both gonna be, be uncomfortable. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna be a bit weird. So be relaxed, be comfortable and believe in yourself. I feel like you just need to have that confidence, just do it. And once you do it, they're gonna be like, oh my days, like, oh, wow. Like, they're gonna be impressed. You know what, get on there and do that reverse cowgirl because why the fuck not? I'll tell you for a fact, you are definitely not too heavy to do anything, okay? You're definitely not too heavy to do stuff because have you seen them weird fucking fetish porn things that's like women that are 30 stones sitting on people's faces? Listen, you're not too heavy. You're just not. Especially if the boy that you're with wants you to do it. Like he, like I said, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's getting himself in for. And it's gonna turn him on to see you be confident in yourself and believe in yourself and just do try something new, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you right now, try it. Try whatever you wanna try. Whether that be you on top, reverse cowgirl, sit on his face, I don't give a shit, just do it, okay? Like I said, women are so guilty of looking in the mirror and seeing all our imperfections that nobody else sees. So if you're looking in the mirror and you've got like back rolls, you've got a little tummy or you don't like your boobs are saggy, they're have, like a boy doesn't even see that or other girls don't even see that. Just know what you see in the mirror is not what actually is, you know? Like, he probably won't even see them little back rolls. He won't even care about your titties when they're in his mouth. Like, I'm just here to tell you, believe in yourself. You're not too heavy, you're sexy as shit. He wants to be with you for you. Yes, just have good sex and just try new things. Like, mm, okay. So my battery's flashing, so I think I'm about to die any minute, so. That is gonna be it for today. I hope everyone that asked me a question got the answer that they wanted or that they thought. I don't know, I just, I hope I helped someone out here. If you have any sort of girl talk questions at all, I've got an email set up that I will leave in the bio. So if you ever wanna send me an email, I'll flash it up now on the screen. If you wanna ask me a question, I will cover it in more videos to come. And, or you can just hit me in my Instagram DMs cause I'm always on there. And yeah, so literally, no subject is off limits. I'm, I'm, we're here to talk it out like girls, you know what I mean? Okay, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative. And if you liked it, then give it a like or subscribe or leave me a comment, just something. I'm loving interacting with you guys. Like, I've gained so many new f subscribers recently and it brings me so much happiness seeing all your comments. So thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye, bitches. I just wanna see you for a little.